Dearest Jimmy, I am pleased to inform you that yes, I am indeed writing to you from my brand new personal computer. It is truly a joy to hear the clicking and clacking of these here buttons as I type to you. I want to thank you for your generous and thoughtful gift. I expect it'll come in mighty handy for me. I just never would have dreamed I'd be able to click around and send you some kind of uh, correspondence in such a fancy manner as this. Lord, I feel like George Jetson. I sure am looking forward to being pen pals and sharing stories of our congruent congregations. Can you imagine what the apostles would have been able to do with such advanced technology and all the ways they could have spread the good word? Well, I reckon I better update you with the goings on of our little congregation. Not a whole lot to report. We're good. Doing pretty good. Got us a new maintenance man, Larry Tom. Drives up from Dixon most every day. And Lord knows we sure could use him around here. I don't know, Larry Tom, one little thing. I can hang her. I can't even tell where it was. Mm -hmm. I, I don't know how much you know about electrics. It'll hang, but... Now, we don't see him too much come Sunday, but he's got a little family, and I can almost pretty confidently count on him to take care of any number of things around this old house of God when I need him to. That is the Rusko. Got it set for about an hour before it's dry. I reckon since I talked to you last, I got me a new assistant, too. Veda Marie started with me a couple, yeah, I think it was a couple months ago. Good head on her shoulders. Really likes the gum. Loves the Lord. Sure does chew a lot of gum. Good. Yeah. more than mine a little bit of coffee. I'll let you start pastor. All right. All right, shall we toast okay. it? Here we are. Don't taste like much. Okay. You ready? Kind of tastes like paper. Mm -mm. This option here. My Jewish friends enjoy this bread. I gotta tell you. I'm awfully excited to have this here personal computer. Now, I feel like we can really boost our um, outreach endeavors to the community. About Romans. And we know See, we're, um, we're doing all right, but I sure, Jimmy, I, I sure would like to see if we could get us a few more rear ends in the seats and a little bit more uh, righteous revenue flowing in here. We're doing good. We're doing pretty good. It's just, 
the Lord. The Lord is providing. They're, they're just days. I need to make sure my new assistant gets paid enough to put gas in her little car. <laughs> and well, it takes an awful lot of prayer sometimes, but we get it taken care of. God provides. He, he always does. I just don't know sometimes, Jimmy. I reckon as long as we can put some hot food in some empty bellies, we're doing something all right. If the Lord can't help us do that, then I don't know what to tell you. I don't know if I told you this or not, but we lost Miss Smeech about a month ago. She was a sweetheart, made the best dang carrot cake. It was everybody's favorite. This, uh, this was the first time in 35 years we hadn't had the cake for everybody to fuss over. Jimmy, I uh, had a bit of a hard time with Miss Smeech's passing. You know how it goes. Both been doing this for so long, and we've been bedside to umpteen thousand people, going home to the Lord, and it don't ever get any easier. I uh, I just sometimes wonder what I'm doing there, just what God had going on in His head when He placed me beside these dying men and women and babies and loved ones. Do you, uh, do you sometimes feel like I'm so sorry? I'm airing some stuff out right here. Golly bum, can you imagine what Paul could have gotten at with all this technology at his fingertips? Get the Holy Spirit in on this and we got a whole nother testament. <laughs> anyway, I don't mean to get too heavy with this, but Miss Meech's daughter Patty made me a carrot cake as a thank you for performing the funeral service. The cake wasn't nearly as good as her mama's. I believe she may have forgotten the carrots. Made for a decent dinner on Tuesday night, though. The simple, kind gesture of making a cake as a thank you for shepherding this woman's soul for most of her adult life hit me pretty hard. You and I both know that we ain't in it for the cake or the money, but merely to comfort them, guide them, and enlighten them when we can. I've got this feeling of some sort of creeping doubt. No, not that doubt. I just have a creeping doubt in my own servitude. The kind of doubt and stress that keeps you up at night and makes you forgetful in the daytime. It's this doubt that we haven't provided these souls with enough guidance for their seat at the table. The deeds, the words, and all the singing. Does all that, uh, provide them with enough um, currency for the coming transaction? Is that all it comes down to? Do we simply transact to gain entrance into the kingdom? There's an unsettling commerce to it all that just ain't setting right with me lately. Lord, I am just rambling on. Good thing they don't charge by the word on these here e-messages. Jimmy, I'm just so pleased with our gift. I can't wait to see how the Lord will use it and us for the betterment of his work. Please come and see us soon. Sincerely, Bart. Mailer day month? Delivery to the something something. Okay, okay. Uh huh. Demon. Demon? <laughs>